Hey everybody, I'm Makri, and I'm a Master Ranked Tracer Spammer. I was actually just about to put out some guides on Tracer's builds, but these patch notes have kind of just changed everything. Now, I'm not saying that I am going to get this 100% right, but I think I have a fairly solid idea of how these changes are going to affect Tracer and her place in the meta. To give you the quick rundown of the situation, Tracer's basic abilities were all nerfed, her talents received a few significant changes, and her health and attack damage were both increased. And before we get started, I just want to say that to me, there are two main Tracer playstyles. There is the Dive Bomber, which was the typical meta build. It was very safe, very easy, and it was honestly the most effective for most players and most situations. In addition to that, we also had the hard carry build, which was a very late game, full auto attack oriented build. It had a significantly higher skill floor and was a lot more dangerous and situational, but when it was allowed to flourish, this build was insane. I just wanted to establish those, because I'll bring them up a lot as we go through these changes. Starting off at level 7, Jumper is just absolutely 100% dead. At this point, if you're drafting Tracer still as a diver, honestly Spatial Echo might see some significant usage because Bullet Time doesn't really fit that sort of playstyle. However, Bullet Time definitely seems like it's going to take the new spot at the top of the level 7 talent tier, and it even with the new Blink cooldown increase, Bullet Time still earns Blinks faster than it used to with the old numbers. For level 10, I've seen a lot of people think that Pulse Rounds is going to take the new spot as the top level 10 talent and I'm not so sure about that. I still lean toward Quantum Spike being meta for the same reason that I haven't liked Pulse Rounds in the past. Pulse Rounds provides extra charge, but only on your auto attacks, which are only making up about half of your charge in a given fight, and only on heroes, so instead of the supposed double pulse bomb that this looks like at first glance, it's actually less than 50% extra value. And honestly, I don't see that as taking the spot over Quantum Spike. For the overall shift, I think these changes are going to push Tracer toward the hard carry playstyle that I mentioned earlier. Again, this build is very late game focused, with things like Ricochet, which don't get full value until level 16, possibly Untouchable, which takes a long time to get off the ground and provide a noticeable boost, however Untouchable is slightly more viable with the 12% health buff for Tracer, and the Pulse Mom nerf also means that it's even more of a late game ability. With the new setup, Pulse Bomb never reaches the damage it used to have, even with a lot of scaling, but it's still now more than ever a late game ability, with its new 6% scaling. For a little bit of background, this build typically works best against non-counters when the untouchable is a lot safer to keep onto, and with a Tassadar or a double support, both of which aren't particularly meta right now. I think that the potential implications of these changes are definitely a net nerf, the meta build is taking most of the heat from this situation, the dive bomber build that I mentioned earlier, and that counters to hard carry tracers, such as guaranteed damage like Greymane with Quicksilver bullets, could become stronger counters, because Tracer will rely on staying in fights for longer periods with these new changes. The health changes will make bursting tracer just a little bit harder, but not by a massive amount. This buffs my playstyle of playing more auto attack late game oriented Tracer, the second playstyle that I mentioned earlier, but still hurts overall. As a result of all of this, I think Tracer will end up much more draft dependent. Like I mentioned earlier, guaranteed damage seems like it's going to be more effective of a counter, and this build typically needs a good source of healing or lifesteal, and just a good way to stay in on the enemy team constantly in order to get value out of bullet time. It's also slightly unrelated, but relevant to me, with no more enemy names being shown in the draft, one tricking Tracer is probably actually going to be easier for me. I'm probably going to end up still spamming Tracer after these changes. I no longer have to worry about target bans, my preferred playstyle of the late game auto attack carry will still be viable, these nerfs aren't going to kill Tracer overall, and Tracer will be more draft dependent, but will also probably fall to the later parts of the draft more often, so it kind of evens itself out. Overall, these changes are not the end of the world, and Tracer will still live on, but probably in a noticeably different role. 
If you have any comments or feedback or think I'm wrong about any of this, I would love it if you would drop me a comment or hit me up on any of my social media and ask me about it. I have more Tracer content coming soon, so if you'd like to see that, please subscribe. And if you want to see this Tracer gameplay in action, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash mockery1713. This is all an educated guess at best, but I hope you liked it. I'll see you later.